So Vortex. I'm sure the sentiment that I have is going to piss a lot of people off. But it needs to be said. It doesn't make sense to me why people want to gloat about good old-fashioned American freedom. Uh, a lot of people will say that you can't criticize other places the way that you can criticize the United States. Like, they act like just being able to criticize the government is like just the most amazing thing that you can do. But that's stupid. Because people can complain about things all day, but if, if nothing's being done about it, then it doesn't matter. Like, there's not much power in being able to complain. You know? And, and people will disagree with me on this, and, and they'll say, well, you shouldn't be cool with censorship, baby. And I'm not cool with it. But it's like they have to control things in some form or fashion, you know? I mean, if, if people want to stay in power and if people want to keep doing what they're doing, um, they have to subdue the public, you know? And it's really easy to do because the public is just inherently dumb and they don't really value the truth. So if they don't value the truth, then it's really easy to fuck with the truth. So... You see all these people complaining about the police. You see all these people complaining about certain facets of the government. Is, is anything changing? Because what I see in regards to policy changes and certain people resigning, certain people um, being fired or whatever, I feel like it's just all a show, you know? They're just... pushing this idea that, that things are happening. But, you know, we as a nation, we as a civilization, we can't expect anything to be done about, you know, the, the horror show of this world. Because, you know, since the fall, and I know a lot of you probably aren't religious, but I am, so... I believe that the reason why things are so shit is because the devil runs the fucking world. And so, if that's the case, then we can't really expect policies to, to make things better. We, we can only expect any sort of policy change to be enacted for the sole purpose of turning us all into slaves. And unfortunately, you don't have enough people that, that know this um, about the way our system works and how, you know there's nobody on our side, okay? There's, there's nobody that's, like, going to, like, push for humanity, you know? And, and you have too many people that are, are not rooting for that anyway because they're just rooting for their enemy to be destroyed. And while I understand that feeling, I understand that, um, you know, general sentiment, It's like these people are all up in their feelings. They want to talk about how much of a woman thing that is, and yet they, they do that. So, I have a hard time believing that people aren't women that have a penis. You know, I, I have a hard time believing that they haven't also been, you know, just as feminized as, you know, these soy boys or whatever. <sighs> Soy boys. You know, the, the queer people. Like, I think that all this stuff has had a dramatic impact on everybody, including myself. Case in point, I'm talking about it yet again.